exercise number 27, practicing drawing arcs. Now, last uh, lesson we did, we learned how to practice, or actually had to draw some circles. Uh, today, we're going to learn how to draw portions of circles, or otherwise known as arcs. So, in this lesson, the tutorial packet takes you through pretty much self, uh, step by step, uh, but I'm here to kind of translate what they're asking for you to do. Now, Google Classroom, again, has two uh, files. The one that is labeled as um, labeled Arc or uh, Arc One that 3DM is what you want to download to your desktop. Uh, it will not open up in your laptop. Your laptops do not have rhinoceros. All right. So once you have downloaded and opened it up on the desktop, you will get a uh, drawing uh, such as what you see in front of you right now, uh, and this is the basis for uh, what we're going to complete. So in the first series of instructions, it tells us go to the curve menu and go down to Arc, and we're going to choose the center start angle. Uh, so in this one, we're going to draw an arc by first telling where the center of the arc is, uh, where the start of the arc is, and more or less where the end of the arc is. That's what the center start angle uh, will do. So we're going to click on that. Our instructions tell us from the center arc to snap to the center of the circle. Now, again, if you have grid snap on, all these lines and all the centers of the circles are on the intersection of the grid lines, or you can also turn on O snap and have a uh, center and end on, and that will help you as well. Uh, so when you get close to the center or to a circle, you can see that uh, my mouse now has the word CEN underneath it, uh, designating that's connected to the center of that circle, or if I go to end the line, it says END, uh, showing that I'm connecting to the end of the line. Uh, but for this uh, lesson, you can just have grid snap on, and uh, as long as you go to the intersection of grid lines, you're in the right spot. So. Back to our instructions, it says from the center of start, uh, snap to the center of the circle at the lower left. So I'm going to go to the center of my circle here. Then I'm going to go and click on the end of that line and swing my arc up to the end of the next line. Boom. First arc is done. For our second arc, we're going to go ahead and use the start and direction. Uh, so when I go to my curve menu, go to arc and then click on start and direction. Uh, this will basically allow us to tell us where the start and end of an arc is uh, and which direction tangent is. So our instruction says for a start of arc, snap to the upper end of the vertical line, which meaning this line right here. So I click on the end of that line. Our next instruction says uh, snap to the adjacent end of the horizontal line at the top, meaning that line up there. Click on mouse. Now you can see I can start drawing uh, my arc using my mouse. So I'm going to go straight up. I can hold down the shift key on my keyboard, or if I have grid snap on, I can just go to the grid line and click my uh, click my mouse uh, to finish that arc. So that's arc number two. Arc number three, we're again uh, we're going to use a uh, directional arc again. So we're going to come up here to curve uh, arc start and direction. Now it's going to tell us to plot our points on this one as well. So first step is to click on the end of our line. And then it's going to tell us to type in R2, comma, negative 2. So from the point I'm at now, I want to go two units straight, two units down uh, from my next point. And now I'll be able to swing again my mouse. I want to go straight down this time and click it to finish off that arc. Arc number four uh, is going to be a center start angle, except we're going to use a couple of little commands to help us out here. So we're going to click on center, center start angle. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to use the extension. So up in your command bar, you're going to click on the word extension, uh, and then we're going to click on the arc we just drew last. That's going to automatically start our arc off. Uh, and now it's going to tell us to type in four for the size of our arc, uh, and we want to make sure our uh, mouse are lined up on this grid line so it's lined up with our start, and that way we have that. Arc number five, again, is going to be another center start angle, and we're going to go ahead and click on the um, extension command, uh, click on the end of our arc, and this time instead of typing any dim uh, dimensions, we're just going to go down to the bottom of that line and click. So there we have all the outside arcs completed. We are now going to do two arcs uh, tangent to these two circles, much like we did uh, in last lesson where we drew a line tangent to them. Now we're going to draw an arc. So I come up here to curve, we're going to go to arc, we're going to do the tangent, tangent, radius. Uh, the instruction tell us from the first tangent curve, pick the lower right side of the top circle. So top circle, 
lower right side. Now, you cannot have O-Snap on on this one. It's going to make your life kind of miserable. Uh, so again, turn O-Snap off. So now you see when I get to the outside, my mouse, instead of just having a red uh, circle near it, now has that white line as well. So I'm going to click on the lower right uh, of the top circle. And I'm going to go ahead and go down to the top right of the lower circle. Now the directions will tell or directions will tell us type in three hit the enter key, uh, and now we have to move your cursor in the right direction. So this is wrong. This is right, uh, and click your mouse. We're going to repeat the same thing for the other side, except this time using a radius of six. So we're going to come up here to our arc command. If I can find it, tangent tangent radius. Uh, we want to go to the top uh, left of the top circle and the bottom left of the bottom circle. Type in six, enter, make sure our mouse pointing in the right direction, click our mouse. Only a couple more commands to go. Uh, one is the trim command, and two is to draw a circle. I'm going to draw the circle. Actually, I'm going to draw the. I'm going to do the uh, trim command first. So to activate the trim command, it's easiest just to type it in four letters: T R I M. Hit the enter key. Uh, it asks us what our cutting objects are. Sometimes it's just better to select everything uh, and then hit the enter key. Um, and then what we want to do is click on a portion of the circle we no longer want. And when we are done, hit the enter key again and escape and quit. Now, how did I select everything? Well, I can draw a box around everything, or I can just use a control A on a keyboard to select everything as well, or I can hold down a shift key and select multiple objects at once. Uh, and that's ways we can select different objects. Now to finish off this drawing, we're gonna draw a circle here. So I start off with my circle uh, command. I'm gonna go to the intersection again using my grid lines. Uh, and in this case, we're gonna do half of the outside of that arc. Uh, and that arc, if I remember correctly, was uh, four. So we're going to make this a diameter of two, uh, and that is our center or our circle there. Last but not least, we have to extrude this. So according to our instructions, we're going to extrude it for a distance of one. So I'm going to select everything by drawing uh, a box around it. I'm going to come up here to solid, extrude planar curve straight, and I'm going to type one, enter, and there is my finalized object. Now again, yours should be solid. So if you see any, uh, if it's just a blank in the middle and you just have uh, outlines of walls, you have a gap somewhere in here, most likely because you weren't using the end command or you were just, or you didn't have grid snap on. If you did everything right, yours should look almost uh, like mine. Uh, so again, if you don't have a solid object here, that means you have a gap somewhere in these corners where you didn't connect any art. And that ends uh, exercise 27. Uh, the practice drawing authors.